Dr. Gross and this is my dog Polly and today I'm going to teach you how to do a sub-Q injection at home. So when you're doing an injection at home, you may have the medication already drawn up into a syringe or you may have an empty syringe that you need to draw up the medication into. If your medication is already drawn up, simply remove the needle. On the tip of the needle, you're going to see an opening. We call that the bevel. And it's best if you insert the needle bevel side up, so the hole should be facing the ceiling. Normally, the best place to give an injection is somewhere up around the shoulders or the shoulder blades. You can see there's a lot of skin here that you can poke through, and there's not a lot of nerve endings there, so it shouldn't hurt too much. So you want to pick up the skin, go ahead and insert your needle. Once you've inserted it, we like you to draw back on the plunger of the syringe a little bit. You should get some negative pressure. Basically, we want to make sure there's no blood coming in. If there's blood coming in, then I want you to remove the syringe and try in a different spot. Once you've made sure that there's no blood, you can simply push on the plunger to inject whatever you're giving. Sometimes I rub like this in case it might sting a little bit. Remove the needle. I would advise not recapping the needle and putting everything directly into a sharps container. Sometimes you may have an injection such as insulin or something that you're drawing up yourself at home. You should have a amount prescribed by your veterinarian. So you can simply take the syringe out of the casing that it's in. We're gonna use our sterile water as our medication. Remove the cap of your syringe, invert your bottle of medication, place the needle through the rubber top, and then draw back whatever predetermined amount has been prescribed by your veterinarian. From here, I would not advise recapping the needle. I'd advise just go ahead and giving the injection in the same manner that we did last time. So pick up on the skin between the shoulder blades. Like I said, sometimes I rub it a little bit so they don't get surprised by the sensation of the injection. Opening or bevel side up right through the skin. Draw back a little bit, make sure there's no blood, and then go ahead and give your injection. And again, dispose of your needle and syringe in the sharp container. 